What do you do when you were to purchase your daughter a corsage on the day of her dance and you forgot about it? You make it. So in today's video, I'm going to take you along with me while I create her corsage two hours before her formal dance. And I used everything from the Dollar Tree except this silver wristlet. So I grabbed some roses that will complement her dress, some complimentary greenery and the little white flowers so four bunches four dollars and really I could could have gotten more than one corsage or boutonniere out of what I purchased so this is completely <laughs> you know off guard I did not plan to make her a corsage I wanted to order her a fresh um, corsage from a local florist but everything that we had going on I, it just slipped my mind but this is going to be a quick fix and it will be perfect for photos and she can also keep this for memories from years to come so I am going to just take um, some of the greenery off of the bunch just some of the ones that I think would you know be a nice size and shape for the wristlet and I've already taken two of the roses and now with the silver wristlet and I purchased this wristlet from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off so it could have been maybe a dollar um, with the sale they're very inexpensive so I'm going to use the buds and the the greenery to adhere to the wristlet so what I'm doing now just so I can have some things already cut I go through and I cut the stems that I want to use the greenery I you know maybe to make them shorter because you don't want anything very long since it's going to be on the arm and I use hot glue to secure the flowers to the wristlet and I do apologize for some of this being out of frame I was so desperate at this time I just wanted to make something work working with the faux flowers plastic is involved and when you're using the hot glue the plastic can definitely melt so I let the glue cool for just a couple of seconds two or three seconds and I will hold the stem in the glue very steady and firmly so that they will attach very good to one another because I don't want the flowers to fall, fall off of the wristlet in the middle of the night. So I am doing that and um, before I just start adding everything I just try to make sure that the placement is where I want it to be and I'll play around with the different pieces that I cut like these white flowers you know when I grabbed the bunch in the store I thought oh this would work but I am able to adjust once I see them they're not gonna they're not gonna cut it in this wristlet especially when I keep looking at my daughter's dress and I just don't think that it will complement it very well so I am going to make sure that the first stems are secured very well and that the glue is cool to touch and then I'll find another placement for another flower. I do apologize for being out of frame. I was <laughs> recording just because I knew that this would possibly help one of you if you've ever found yourself in this situation or you just want to intentionally go ahead and create corsages for a special occasion that is coming up. This will be perfect for Mother's Day to give to the special ladies in your life or a brunch that you're holding at your church or you know it's also prom season so if you want to get creative this is something that you can definitely try to do so I added the third flower and I really like the base I like where this is going and I am going to do what I told you I'm just going to make sure that those flowers 
get really good in that glue and that the glue cooled. I have my wire cutters um, handy because I also have to consider you know some of the wire at the bottom scraping up against the wrist I don't want that so I trim as as necessary now that I have the flowers in place I'm going to add the greenery and what I liked about this greenery and I can't remember the name that was on the tag in the store it looks it just looks um not rustic but gives a boho kind of vibe and my daughter loves that style or elements to that style so i thought that this would you know be something that she would have picked out or preferred if i were to purchase have purchased her a corsage i just really liked how it complemented the look so I just, um, before I add any glue, I just play around with the different sides of the corsage um, to make sure that the size of the greenery is just right. And I find a spot that won't be so cumbersome once it's attached and look out of place. I find the perfect spot and I'll add glue. I'll let it cool for just a few seconds and then I'll add the greenery because these are all plastic. They will definitely melt. So I found a spot in between the fabric rows and it secured pretty well. I like how it's turning out. I am not using any ribbon for this corsage. My daughter did not want ribbons and all of the fuss of bling because I definitely wanted to add some bling, but she wanted to keep it as simple and natural looking as possible. And I think this did it. As you see, I didn't use any of the onion grass or the little white flowers. This was the finished product. I hope that you like this video and this is something that you can do for a special occasion that's coming up. Please like the video and subscribe if you have not. I would really appreciate it if you did and click the notification bell and um, be notified of upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a great day.